John Salston um, is a, a very good um, scientist who uh, has worked on, on development of a worm. The idea with this little animal was that it breeds very fast, much faster than any, any other model organism of any size or any animal. And what it means is that you can mutate it. That to say you treat it with chemicals or radiation to affect its DNA in random ways. And then you can pick up the changes by looking at the behavior, for example, of, the, of some of the offspring. Lots and lots of nematode scientists and other scientists working on other organisms were spending most of their lives just looking for genes, just digging them out one by one. I thought, well, if we get all of that DNA and make a map of it and relate that to the way the genes are laid out, because through genetics we can make, put the genes on a map of their own called, an, called a genetic map, we can line those two up, and now we're going to rather quickly find where the gene is. So looking at the whole haystack, you've narrowed it down to a little bit, and it worked. And so we became a major part of the Human Genome Project. The contribution of the MRC to molecular biology is absolutely enormous. I mean, it goes way back. Um, the, it was the MRC that started to fund the, the original group chaired by Max Perutz, uh, which turned into the, the, the laboratory of molecular biology and uh, expanded as it moved out to Adam Brooks Hospital. And this is the key centre in the world, really, where molecular biology grew. Tissue typing um, attempts to match the proteins in a donor giving the organ with the recipient to look at the compatibility between those two types. On the basis of this, technology or this information of uh, organs for transplant of the, of the, of the, and the patients and, and making better matches this way. This is a fantastic use of, of the data. It can describe the risk of an individual to risks of um, cancer, of infection, of heart disease, of diabetes, which are complications of some of the treatments in transplantation. It is important to to move towards a situation where people are treated in more and more individual ways. And we have a number of drugs now, uh, Herceptin is one example, uh, Warfarin is another, where it's really valuable or important, vital even, to know the person's genetic makeup with regard to particular genes before treatment is undertaken.